So, okay, so now what do we do with that? All right? Now that we know, okay, what we can say about this is Pantone 85, the ratios of the bases, bases are 0 0.75, warm red to 0 0.25 rubin red okay that's what we can say about this ink all right that pantone 185 is points 0.75 warm red 0.25 rubin red now here comes where we can finally start using those numbers all right okay Now let's talk about the narrow web, folks, okay? So you got a narrow web press. And you're going to make one gallon of Pantone 185 red out of, from the base colors, warm red and rubin red. You don't have any 185 red. You have rubin red and you have warm red. Two, two color mix. That's the simplest one we can make. And now you're going to make 185 red. Okay. You know now that the ratio is 0.75 warm to 0.25 rubin red, all right? And now you're going to make one gallon, and we happen to know, by the way, that one gallon of ink roughly is eight pounds. A little bit more if it's white, uh, about eight pounds if it's black, and so, you know, there's reasons for that. There's different densities in those inks, but about, you can say, like water, basically that a gallon of ink is going to be eight pounds, all right? Okay, so that's your starting point. We say, okay, I want to make eight pounds, all right? All you have to do to make any quantity of ink is say, how many pounds do I want to make? What are the ratios? Multiply by the ratios, and that tells me how much of each color that uh, I need to add to this mix to make the total. And that's going to be very important because we're going to get a little more sophisticated at that, especially when we start to do multiple blends and multiple checks and returns and start working off ink into color and everything like that. This is going to, the, the base concept of the ratios and what that means is going to be very fundamental. So get it, get it up front, all right? So we have eight pounds. If we want to know how much warm red that is, well, the warm red was 0 0.75, so all we do is we take 8 times 0 0.75, and that happens to equal 6. So now we know we're going to put 6 pounds, and that's a simple for pounds. We're going to put 6 pounds of warm in our mixing container or whatever that is, even if it's the jug itself. Now, we know intuitively, we can say, well, if it's going to be six pounds warm red and the total is eight pounds then that must mean I have two pounds of rubin red well let's see if the math proves that to be correct okay so now all we got is the rubin part right we got 0 0.25 ratio for rubin 0 0.25 eight pounds happens to be indeed two I mean eight pounds sorry 0 0.25 times eight equals two eight times 0 0.25 equals two that happens to add up to eight, which is correct. So we need two pounds of rubin red. And now that's a very simple example of it, but that's true whether you have uh, an ink that has four base colors and two additives. If you want to accurately mix the, that color again, you just need the ratio of those four bases and those two additives relative to the whole amount that you, got, that, that, that you want to achieve. And uh, whatever amount you want to make, you uh, apply those ratios to that total amount, and, and that tells you how much of each component to, uh, to, to add to the mix, okay? All right, so that's the first step. That's the most basic part of it, okay? All right. 